Today, thank you for tuning in to SJ336, St. John 336. This is Stephanie Jeanette. We're on day 272, which will cover Psalm 52 of my book, A Daily Devotional, which I'm presenting via YouTube. So, just the scripture references for study today are Psalm 52, the whole psalm. And Lamentations for ver the whole verse, um, the whole chapter. I didn't say that on the previous for Psalm 51. It's the same. Let's just read it. And so just to pray, Psalm. I shall wear a crown, in E flat, keyboard accompaniment with lyrics. YouTube upload is dated March 4th, 2011. And for the entry, this is a song of contrasts. Verses 1 through 5 detail the alienation of the wicked from the one true Almighty God. Verses 6 through 9 rejoices in the relationship of the righteous to the one true Almighty God. In verse 8, as we recall, Psalm 37, verses 34 through 36, we enjoy an image of the full and fruitful green olive tree as a notable difference in the emptiness of the green bay tree. Those who amass riches and wicked devices as the net of strength over relying on God Almighty shall end just as non-existent as their net. But I have a sense that such have been anesthetized against concerns of the afterlife, and so such shallow living gratifies them and suffices for the short breath of their hearts and minds. And the intercessory prayer is quite long. Dear Father God Almighty, great provider, we thank you for your dear and only begotten Son and his completed work of his shed blood on the cross at Calvary, even Christ Jesus of Nazareth. Today, Father Lord Almighty, we pray for the hungry, homeless, the unemployed, the underemployed, those in houses that are not homes, and those in jobs that are not their calling. Touch us, Lord, bless us, and teach your people, dear Lord, to have the insight to recognize and pursue the change we can make in the lives of such by doing that which your Holy Spirit unctions unto us to do. And dear Lord God Almighty, please bless Scotland through comparative ice waters and fauna observation. <clears throat> observation. We also pray, dear one true God, for the Venezuelans. May they all, each and every one of them, experience successful panning for lucrative gems that changes their individual and family financial existence forever as people who will make decisions at the gate at a global level and do so to your glory, dear omnipotent Savior. We also pray, dear faithful and true God, for the Vietnamese. May the women and children receive proper love and kindness free from any and all satanic traditions. As well, Lord, may they invent and share key technologies designed for godly preservation and longevity of humankind. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.